Hello, I'm Jin Ting, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Sometimes customers ask me how can they ingest and visualize the AWS cost and usage monthly report in QuickSight. So today I will be showing you one of the easiest methods. Let's get started. Let's create an AWS cost and usage report and then enable report data integration for QuickSight. After login to AWS Management Console, navigate to the Binning Console. On the navigation panel, choose Cost and Usage Report. Choose Create Report. For report name, enter a name for your report, and then choose Next. For S3 bucket, Choose Configure. In the Configure S3 Bucket dialog box, do the following. Select an existing bucket from a drop-down list and choose Next. Enter a bucket name and the region where you want to create a new bucket and choose Next. Note, the S3 Bucket region can be different from the region of your QuickSight report. Select I have confirmed that the policy is correct and choose Save. For time granularity, choose hourly if you want to lie items in the report to be aggregated by the hours. Choose daily if you want the lie items in the report to be aggregated by the day. For report versioning, choose whether you want each version of the report to override the previous version of the report or to be delivered in addition to the previous versions. For enable report data integration for, select whether you want to upload your AWS cost and usage report to Amazon Redshift, Amazon QuickSight, or Amazon Athena. Select Amazon QuickSight. Choose Next. After you review the setting for your report, choose Review and Complete. Note. It can take up to 24 hours for AWS to start delivering reports to your Amazon S3 buckets. After delivering starts, AWS updates AWS cost and usage report files at least once a day. Let's authorize Amazon QuickSight to access your Amazon S3 bucket. Inside Amazon QuickSight, choose your profile name, top right. Choose Manage QuickSight, and then choose Security and Permissions. Choose Add or Remove. Locate Amazon S3 in the list. If the checkbox is clear, enable checkbox next to S3. If the checkbox is already enabled, choose Details, and then choose Select S3 Buckets. Select the bucket you want to access from Amazon QuickSight. Then choose Finish. Choose Update. Let's ingest AWS cost and usage report data into QuickSight. Open the Amazon QuickSight console and then choose Manage Data. From Dataset page, choose New Dataset. Choose S3. From New S3 Data Source page, in the data source name. In Upload a Manifest File field, enter the URL of your AWS Cost and Usage Report QuickSight Manifest File. To find the URL of your AWS Cost and Usage Report QuickSight Manifest File, open a new browser and navigate to the S3 buckets you created or choose in previous step. From the S3 bucket, choose your AWS Cost and Usage Report folder. Choose the folder named with QuickSight. Choose the manifest JSON file for the month you want to upload to QuickSight. Choose Copy Path. Paste the file URL. Click Connect. From Finish Dataset Creation page, choose Visualize. 
Now, all of the data fields of your AWS cost and usage reports are ready to be visualized. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.